Hey everybody, I'm Diane Gale and I am the author of the blog SustainableSlowLiving.com and today you and I are going to make a headscarf together. This headscarf is so easy to make that I'm not even going to do it on camera. I'm just going to explain it to you and show you a couple pictures of the steps. It's that simple. You want to take a jersey knit material um, I was not able to find jersey knit in my local store so I just bought a knit. The difference between the two is that the jersey knit is a little bit thinner. The knit works just fine. So whatever you can find, do it in a solid color, do it in a print, and you want to cut it out to be 12 inches wide by 65 inches long. Now this one is 62 inches long because that's how long my material was. Um, I, I'm okay with that. It still works for me. You're going to take and you're going to measure 12 inches wide by 65 inches long. You're going to cut that out. And then you're going to take and lengthwise you're going to put the right sides of your fabric together. And then you're simply going to sew along the edge. You want to make sure that you tack the material really well at both ends so that it doesn't come apart. And then you're just going to take your tube of fabric that you've made. It is inside out and you want to turn it inside right. Once you have it turned inside right, you've got yourself a headscarf. There is no need to hem the end of your headscarf because jersey knit will not unravel. You can hem it if you want a more finished look. You can also sew it closed if you want a more finished look. I don't like the seam there. I feel like it makes it bulky when I tuck it in and you'll see what I mean when we put this on. Okay you guys, you're going to want to take your headscarf and you're going to want to make it so that your seam is in the middle of the back side of the scarf and then you are going to want to fold it in half to find your center point. This is not an exact science, so you do not have to do it perfectly. Once you have your center point, you're going to take that point and you're going to lay it on top of your head. And then you're going to take it and you're going to bring it down and around and you're going to bring the other side around as well. Simple enough, right? Then you're going to take one side of your scarf and you're going to bring it up and over and just tuck it in the back side of the scarf. And then you will take the other side of your scarf and do the same going in the opposite direction. And there it is you guys. You've got a great headscarf. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know what it looked like when I was doing it there on camera, but I went and did it in the bathroom in front of the mirror. It's so much easier. When you put the headscarf on, you can pull it up and pull it tight because you can see whether or not it's coming off. And when you pull one side up, you want to wrap it and you want to crisscross the other side around. And this is what you've got. It is a great accessory. I love them. They elevate any outfit and they really hide a bad hair day, which is what headscarves are all about. So head on over to the blog and check out the blog post for more information. I hope that you're going to make yourself one or two or a half dozen or a dozen to use as um, outfit accessories this spring and summer. They're fabulous. And as always, I am so glad that you joined me here today and we are going to get together again and we're going to do it really soon.